Welcome. Let's take a look now at a risk event for the week, starting Monday, the 23rd of October. We're off now to Daily FX and Richard Snow with some more on an event which could cause some volatility next week. Rich, welcome. What are you talking about? Hi, Jeremy. Uh, so I'm looking ahead to next week. We've got quite a busy week ahead of us. Uh, but the main event I'm looking at is US Q3 GDP. And that's the first look we'll get at that Q3 estimate. So the potential for quite a bit of volatility coming through next week. Uh, we're expecting 4.1% quarter on quarter for the US. So the economy essentially is going from strength to strength. We've also noted the safe haven appeal recently with all the conflict. Uh, we've also seen a tendency for US data to surprise on the upside. Uh, so while the US dollar is not necessarily uh, moving a lot higher, uh, we're expecting it to remain supported into next week. Uh, when you look at the pound, on the other hand, uh, we've been seeing uh, easing within the labor market. Tuesday, we actually get the unemployment data, which was delayed a week. Uh, but we've been seeing data uh, moving in the reverse direction for the UK. So a bit of weakness for sterling potentially into next week. So if we take a look at the chart, um, given the fact that we have quite a lot on the economic calendar, we also have earnings filtering in. And uh, interestingly, uh, cable has shown a strong correlation with the S&P 500 of late. So if we continue to see further declines in US equities uh, amidst this environment we're in with high uh, yields, uh, we could be seeing further moves lower for Cable. So given the potential for added noise and volatility, uh, I'm looking at a potential entry up at about one spot two two uh, and targeting uh, a downside around about one spot two flat by the end of the week. Okay, Richard, thanks so much indeed. Uh, taking a look there at a raft of data next week and its impact on cable with the focus on that US GDP number on Thursday.